everyone, I'm Sarah of Bridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet an alternative double crochet stitch. Which you can see here, now this is a slight variation of the double crochet stitch and it makes it look like the double crochets are mirror images of each other. So it gives the double crochet just a little bit of, uh, a little bit more interest to look at, slightly different texture to your fabric. It is the same on both sides, so it's great for a reversible project. And uh, you can let me know how you would use this stitch in a project in the comments down below. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as long, uh, along with some of this paint box cotton around yarn. And um, links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated every Sunday with a free stitch tutorial. And as well, there's lots of other great free crochet patterns here as well. Our stitch today is going to be worked in rows. So start by making your slip knot. And then by working a foundation chain, and your foundation chain can have any number of stitches, uh, just be sure to add two for your double crochet. So today I'm going to chain a total of 20 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to skip the first three chains. And then into your next chain, you're going to work uh, an alternative, al alternative uh, double crochet stitch. To work the stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over and pull through one loop only then yarn over and draw through all three remaining stitch that's your alternative double crochet you're going to repeat that all the way across yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over pull through one loop yarn over and pull through all three. Repeat that all the way across. For row two, you can chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. You're now simply going to continue working alternative double crochets all the way across. So yarn over into your next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now, if you did not, you can see it's gonna create a little bit of a gap here. If you did not want that gap, I'll show you a little trick. You can instead, instead of chaining three, chain two and turn your work and then begin by working that first alternative double crochet right into that first stitch at the base of your foundation chain. So in this way, the chain two does not count as a stitch and it's going to close in that gap for you. You can then continue your alternative double crochets all the way across and that little trick will actually work uh, on any pattern where you're using a regular double crochet or an alternative double crochet so you can continue that all the way across chain three or chain two and turn your work work your alternative double crochets back across and that's all there is to working this wonderful stitch so thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week for another stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.